This is question 14 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're given the diagram, uh, here we're told that the diagram shows a trapezium and we've got uh, certain lengths on it. All the measurements are in centimetres and it says the area of the trapezium is 46 centimetres squared. And what we're asked to do is show that x squared plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. So the key here is just spotting in this line. The area of the trapezium is 46 centimetres squared. So what we can do is we can set up an equation, and this is when it asks us to show that x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0, it's inviting us to set up an equation. And the equation that we can set up is using the area of a trapezium formula. So the area of a trapezium is half a plus b multiplied by the height, where a and b are the parallel lengths on the trapezium. So in this case, 3x plus 1 and 5x plus 3. So all that we're going to do is we're going to substitute these algebraic expressions into this formula. And we know that when we, when we substitute the lengths and the height into this formula, that that's going to give us an answer of 46 centimetres squared. So if we substitute in here, what we're saying is that this is half of a plus b, so these lengths added together, let's call this one a and this one b. So half of uh, a, 3x plus 1, plus b, which is 5x plus 3. And then what we're saying is that um, half of that multiplied by the height, which is 2x plus 3. So multiplied by 2x plus 3, that that will be equal to, okay, so this is an expression for the area. We're told that the area is 46, so this expression will be equal to 46. So we've now got an equation, and what we're being asked to do is we're being asked to make this equation look like this. So we're trying to simplify this to the point whereby we get x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0. So let's start doing this. Let's tidy up this bracket here. Uh, yeah, let's tidy up this bracket here first. So we've got 3x plus 1 plus 5x plus 3. That will give us 8x plus 4. So now what we're saying is that half of 8x plus 4 times by 2x plus 3 will be equal to 46. So what we can then do is we're saying that it's half of 8x plus 4. So let's half 8x plus 4. That's going to give us 4x plus 2. And then multiplied by 2x plus 3 is equaling 46. Now let's expand this bracket. So expand these double brackets. The way that we can do that is using a grid and we need to do 4x plus 2 multiplied by 2x plus 3. So multiplying these together that's going to give me 8x squared plus 4x 2x times 2 and then 4x multiplied by 3 for 12x and then 3 multiplied by 2 for 6. So this, uh, when we expand these double brackets, it's going to equal 8x squared plus 4x plus 12x plus 6 is equal to 46. So I'm just going to get rid of this bit down here. So now... Now what we can do is let's simplify this. So we get 8x squared plus 16x plus 6 is equal to 46. So all that we've done is we've just tidied up this original uh, expression so that now this expression here is 8x squared plus 16x plus 6. Now, if we take a look at the question, we're asked to show that x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0. 
At the moment, our equation is equal in 46, so we want to make it equal 0 instead. And we can do that by subtracting 46 from both sides. So that now gives us 8x squared plus 16x. And then subtracting 46, 6 minus 46 is going to give us negative 40. And then that is equal to 0. So the last thing to do is, now we've got it equal to 0, what we then need to look at is, well, how can I make this look like that? And what I should spot here is that each of these coefficients, 8, 16, and 40, that I can divide all of those by 8. So 8x squared divided by 8 will give me x squared. 16x divided by 8 will give me 2x. And then 40 divided by 8 will give me negative 5. 0 divided by 8 stays as 0. So I get x squared plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. And that's part A complete. Now for part B, we're asked to solve the equation. We're asked to solve the equation to, uh, x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0. So this equation that we've just figured out. And we're asked to give your solutions correct to two decimal places. So this sentence here, give your solutions correct to two decimal places, indicates that um, with this quadratic equation, so this is a quadratic equation, with this quadratic equation, we're going to need to use the formula. Okay, And that, that is a little hint. If you've got a quadratic equation and it's saying to give your solutions correct to a certain number of decimal places or significant figures, that means that you're going to need to use the quadratic formula to solve the quadratic equation. So the quadratic formula is something that you need to know by heart, and that is, and the quadratic formula is as follows. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, where a, b and c refer to the coefficients in the quadratic equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in to this uh, formula um, and then type it into our calculator to get our solutions. So what we're told is that um, so what we are given, we now need to stay, state what A, B and C are equal to. So A is the coefficient of x squared, which we've just got x squared on its own. So we can actually say that that's the same as having 1x squared. So A is equal to 1. B is the number in front of x, the coefficient of x, which is 2. And then C is this number on the end, which is negative 5. So now all that we now need to do is substitute each of these values into our calculator uh, with this formula. So the easiest way to do this is to simply um, use the fraction button on the calculator and we are going to have negative and what I like to do is I like to put any value that I substitute in, in brackets. So negative, so if we imagine just putting brackets around all of the values that we're going to substitute in. Okay. Um, like so. Okay. So when we do this on a calculator, negative B, so negative 2. And then it's plus or minus, so we need to do two calculations. We're going to start with plus. So negative 2 plus the square root of, and again, we're substituting b in, so 2 in brackets, squared minus 4 times a. So again, put it, just putting it in brackets, a is 1. 4 times 1 multiplied by c, which is negative 5, divided by... 2 multiplied by a, 2 multiplied by 1, um, or 2 bracket 1. That just, and again, just to kind of uh, speak about why I'm doing this, this just means 2 multiplied by 1. 
and this is a nice easy way to substitute into the quadratic formula without making any mistakes. Then I press equals, this gives me an answer, it says give your answer correct to two of decimal places, so I'm not going to write it like that, I'm going to give uh, the first answer is going to be x is equal to 1.45, so first answer x equals 1.45. And then I'm going to get a second answer now. My second answer comes from this idea about we're either adding or subtracting this quantity here. We've added this quantity here, and now all that's left for us to do is subtract it. Easiest way to do that, rather than writing all of this out again, is to just go back through and delete the plus and change it to the minus. So changing that to a minus pressing equals is going to give us our other value and that comes to negative 3.45 to two decimal places. So our final answer to part B, x is equal to 1.45 or x is equal to negative 3.45.